everyone. Today is December the 18th and this is workshop number five in my online course workshop series. My name is Jacqueline Snyder and I'd like to welcome you here today. It is almost Christmas and the last workshop in my five workshop series. So I'd like to wish you all a happy holidays and here we go with organizing your story, where it's going and why. The very critical part of organizing your story is, unlike what some authors may say, writing a book is a very focused, very organized, very uh, well thought out process. It's not something that you do just off the cuff like that, oh, I think I'm going to sit down and write a book, you know. Books take sometimes years to write. There's hundreds of pages involved often, and it's important to know where your story is going and why. A lot of my clients have mentioned to me that they uh, begin their books with, um, with an idea, with something that they saw, something that they read, um, a series of photos that they've seen that have given them the inspiration to start uh, a whole book around that opening, uh, that opening event in their, that becomes the opening event of their novel. And this is a, an absolutely fabulous idea it's wonderful to have that inspiration for your for your book and for the opening scene of your novel but a, a very important aspect that I think you need to keep in mind is that your your book isn't just that event that is just something that's supposed to lead your readers where you want them to go and it is the beginning of where your story is going and so it's it's really critical to you to know why you're telling that opening story why you're setting up your heroine's personality or your heroine's uh, past life or you know whatever event that's pivotal that brings the reader right into your book at that moment once your reader has decided to to stick with your book you know they've read those opening paragraphs and they're like you're they're into it you realize that you need to realize now that you have an audience and you're writing for that audience so it's important that you you step back and you think who is going to read my novel because you need to write your novel for that audience. Your novel, your heroine needs to, to remain true to herself and to what that opening event or that opening series of events is, is giving your reader and that, that needs to move through your whole novel. So you need to know where you're going with that opening event, why you're telling it, where it's coming from and then you need to, to explain why, you know, why is that opening event, why is that so pivotal to your whole book, to your heroine's personality or to her past, or to, it's, it's really, really important that, that you flesh these things out and that, that you know very consciously why you're, you're going where you're going. I've set up some questions for you to work through uh, in the course material that I think will help you uh, realize where you're going and why, and, and even if you sort of change directions, uh, that's fine. Maybe your direction is better where you're going now than, than where you originally thought you were going to go when you started writing your novel. But it, you just it need to be conscious of it. It needs to be thought out. Maybe you can write down some points and just choose where you're going, why, what moments are going to come up in her future or, or things that are going to come out of her past that are going to set up the story that you're trying to tell. Because everybody, when they're writing a book, even when it's not, and I don't believe that writing a book, everything about a book is 100% conscious. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of unconscious stuff that filters in and our brains are, are beautifully and wonderfully complex and we can come up with all sorts of great scenarios. And not everything is conscious initially, but what, what you need to do is you need to go back and read through your work and your notes and your ideas and make sure that the the tale or the, the puzzle that your, your brain is, is hopefully creating around your main characters and your supporting characters um, is that you're fleshing it out uh, to the full extent that you can to make your book as, as um, rich and, and alive and bold as you can for your readers. And so really sitting down and figuring out, okay, well, why, you know, did this happen to my heroine? Why is it pivotal to her life? Why am I telling it? What do the readers need to know? What do they not need to know? Uh, you know, what does her friend know, what does her mother know, uh, what does she remember, how does she feel about it, all these different things, uh, and then how you're going to bring them out throughout the course of the novel. It's all, 
really important to, to, to making your, your heroine appear to be as real life as possible, which is really what, of course, your, your readers are looking for.